Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do another live haul for you. I have a couple of things that I bought. A few items of jewelry that I bought this weekend. And I stopped again today and I wanted to show them to you. I think I got a pretty good deal on some of these things. And then also some stuff that I bought online. Hey, Carol, thanks for being here. And Thrifty Chick is here as well. Yeah, I bought a few things at the Goodwill this weekend. I went on Sunday hoping I would find a jewelry jar. I should have known I probably wasn't, but I did go to a couple of new ones. And forgive me for adjusting this so much. I don't want it to be too crooked. And um, I'm, I really need a bigger tripod, I think. I seem to have a lot of trouble. It keeps popping off. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? Does it look really crooked? Let's try that there, right there. Okay. Plus, I want it to, to get a nice close-up. I'm going to give people a chance to pop in. So if you're new to the channel, guys, please hit the uh, subscribe button. If you can, I think you'll enjoy the content here. I do a lot of talk about jewelry, but I also do a lot of reselling talk as well. I sell on eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, Etsy. Did I say Amazon? Just about everywhere. And I sell not only jewelry, but hard goods. But I do love jewelry and... I do a lot of buying, <laughs> probably more buying than selling like a lot of us, right? So let's start with a, cute, a few things that I did pick up. Um, let me see. I went Saturday, Sunday with my husband, and then I went today on the way back from work. And um, we just kind of went because he wanted to know where that new Goodwill was that I discovered that I didn't know about. But I'm glad that I did because I found some really fabulous bangles. So be sure and hit the thumbs up as well as soon as you walk in the door. Because sometimes when the chat gets going, you forget to go back and hit that thumbs up. So let me start with the prices. Now, since they didn't have any jewelry jars, I looked at the counter. And they had a lot of nice things in the counter. They really did. They had some, excuse my chair for squeaking there. They really did. They had a lot of like really fabulous looking cubic zirconia rings that look like, you know, five carat diamonds or something, two carat diamonds. Really pretty and pretty reasonably priced too. They were only like maybe five to six dollars. But I didn't buy those, but they did have some bangles out on the counter and this was out of the counter. They So I got two for $2.99 and three for $3.99, which is kind of high. But um, did I get a discount? Yeah, I did, do, I did get a discount on a few of them. A few other things because they had color tags, but on the bracelets themselves, no, I did not get any kind of a discount. So this is one of the ones that was $2.99, which kind of surprised me because it really looks to me like a 1928. Hi, Debs, how are you? You did not receive, well, I just started. So yeah, the notifications are so funny. I was looking at one today that came in like 15 minutes after, and for some reason I have like a Google notification and then I have a YouTube notification and sometimes one comes in 15 minutes before the other one it's really crazy I don't know and I keep getting double notifications so it's quite interesting hi Tammy how are you Faye thank you for being here Faye Robertson thanks Vanessa for being here as well and uh, Sunshine Always is here Francis Linda Jill I think I said Jill Dora Kathy Valentine and Nora A. And if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Hi, Darlene Buckland. How are you? And Max Garcia. All right, so let's get started. I think this is a 1928. It just looks very much like one that I had. Though I do remember that 1928 had a lot of the gold tone. So maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it was really pretty. I love the oval shape of it. Um... I just seem to remember 1928 from when I used to buy it at the department stores back in like the early 80s, 70s. It was mostly always in, in the gold tone. It, I rarely saw it in silver, but I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I just liked it in the gold tone. And I know like the newer ones are, and I love the safety chain as well. Look at that pretty carving on it. Have you, can you guys see that pretty well? Thanks so much for hitting that thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, I thought this was a very, very nice bracelet for, again, $2.99. And then the other ones I bought were $3.99. Not bad at all. Would have been nice to get that, you know, 30% discount that I get on Saturdays. Hi, Kathleen. Thanks for being here. 
just got back from oh Mexican food. Oh, I ate I ate a Big Mac for lunch today, and I'm still feeling it. So I I skipped dinner tonight, and I'm gonna go work out in a minute before they close up. They do close late, and I've told y'all before I go really late, so I'm still going. Hey, you direct. Thanks for being here. And then, okay, so I got that, and then I got this one, and I think this was from the $3.99. And I normally don't really like wood bangles, but for some reason, this one really attracted my attention. The multi-materials there, like a, I don't know, maybe like a plastic or some kind of resin, and they're like individually set in there, like parquet or something. Is it parquet? I forget what it's called. That woodwork they do on floors. And then some brass in there, and of course it's lined on the inside, and it wasn't too, too big, so it was really, really nice. I like that a lot. And I like the colors. I think the colors are super, very fall-like. So I like that, and I don't know, I may, I may list that one because it is a little big, but I just couldn't resist it. And then of course, you know I love my red, white, and blue patriotic stuff. This doesn't look like a very expensive piece, but I just loved it. I, I like the, the design on it. It's not your typical stripes and, you know, stars. But I think it's super cute. Hey, it looks like Mike the Crazy Card is here as well. Guys, if you're not subscribed to him, you should be because he does really good hauls as well, thrift hauls. He's an expert on jewelry too. He helped me a lot in a few things I've found. And let me see who else showed up. All right. So, yeah, again, I think this one was $2.99. And then this one, it was in the $2.99 rack, but I, I saw it and it reminded me of this other one that I have listed. Forgot the name of it, but it's like I had looked it up and it's like a $40 bracelet. I don't know why. It's got like this holographic look to it for some reason. See how you can see? Not holographic, but like a two tone, almost like a little, yeah, kind of like a little illusion look to it. So I looked inside and it was hallmarked in here. And I believe it's Dion von Furstenberg, DVF there. So and purple, you can't be purple. It's really pretty. I thought it was too too cute to leave behind. Plus it doesn't look like it was used very much. It's still in really, really good condition. So I love that. Hi Belinda, thanks for being here. And Barb, thank you for being here. Going on Grumpy's in there as well. And if you're not subscribed to her, you should be. All right, and then these are the ones I fell in love with, guys. I don't know. I mean, I saw it, and I was like, maybe this is Bakelite, but I don't know, because do they actually make Bakelite like this, like carved? And the color was just so 60s to me. It just really stood out like, you know, something from 69 or something. Something really before the mod era came, and everything was kind of flowery and stuff. That's what, what it, and it's also a nice size, small, not too big. So you guys help me out if you think, I mean, I know it's vintage. To me, this is a lot of work to go into, you know, a fast manufacturing. And I did do the test and you know, I should show it. Here it is. I did the test, guys. This is what showed up. Look how it turned. It, it was actually almost bloody red. See the blood? <laughs> See the blood? <laughs> I mean, I saw it. And I was like, that is a weird color to come off of there. And then this is another one on another bake light that I have. I think I've showed you the this kind of a butterscotch color that I found a while back from a bag as well. But this one really turned up like, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you say that's a positive? It almost looks bloody. But that's how I tested this one. So, I don't know. You guys tell me. But I I'm, I know it's vintage. I thought Bakelite. And I don't know. But that's how the test came out. Right there. Very strange to me. But you guys can tell me what you would think if it tested like that. I think so. I think so, too. I really do. I thought it was Bakelite. And then I kept thinking to myself, this is a lot of intricate work on here. It's daisies and leaves and all kinds of cute stuff really really nice all right then this one guys i i saw it i was like that's cinnabar right look at the intricate design on it i mean there's just no way this could be 
a fake, in my opinion, I don't, I've never really seen a fake Cinnabar for that matter. I don't think I've seen a real one. But if I were to say that's a Cinnabar, I would say that is. And I did some research and they talk about things that, you know, to look for, like carving designs or something on it. I'm bringing it really close to you so you can see it. Uh, this one was $3, guys. This was from the $2.99. Again, they just put them in a bag for me. I got, I think it was two, two for $2.99 and two for $3.99. This was one of the $3.99 ones. No discount or anything, but I couldn't resist it. I think it's so pretty, but it is big, 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 big. So if anybody wears, I know, uh, Sandy was saying the other day on her auction that she's never been able to wear bangles, that she has pretty, pretty uh, large hands and she could not get any bangles to go into her hand to show us one of some of the ones she was auctioning off. So I'm, Im I'm imagining a lot of people have that issue. And I know as we get older, our hands get bony and bigger and so forth. I know my fingers have done that. So I'm going to probably list this and I'm definitely going to bill it as extra large because look, no, oh, maybe you can see it. Falls right. The only way I could wear this bracelet is if I were to wear something with it. Because it's just falling right behind me. So I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Not only here, but come back to the video. Or if you're watching later in the replay. Let me know what you think about it. But I think it's gorgeous. I couldn't leave it for $4. And uh, I know, like I said, the only way I could ever wear it is to wear something in front of it. But even then, it's just like, seems like a shame, you know, for someone to actually be able to, to appreciate it even more because it is so large. I mean, compared to a, compared to this one, you know, you can see, or even this one. But anyway, that was exciting. I got that. And then I got this Mickey Mouse. It's mini, no, yeah, it's mini, mini Mouse watch. And I think I got this for two or three dollars as well that day. Genuine leather band. I thought it was cute. I like the way that the face is kind of a beige color. It's really cute. So that was cool. Yes, I know. That's what I was reading to Crazy Card. That's what I was reading, Mike that um yeah it's got it's mercury it's a mercury mineral of some sorts i had no idea about all of that stuff till i started researching it but that's what i got there and what else okay then i wanted to show you the bangles that i got from the showcase i polished them up a little bit this is from um elizabeth's makeup zombies showcase i got three native american bangles for 75 dollars. that's one of them and I was wearing that on my right hand. And then I got this one. I also polished it up a little bit. Uh, just a tiny bit. I just put a little bit of uh, cream on the cloth. And then just kind of wiped it on the back first. And then came up here. So I wouldn't wipe off any of that pretty uh, patina that makes the design stand out. And it's probably shining too much, isn't it? Can you see it there? It's very, very nice. This almost looks like, well, I guess it's kind of abstract. It kind of reminded me of arrows or something. And then this one kind of reminds me of birds. Super nice. I love it. And uh, yeah, I love Native American jewelry. And I was wearing all of these together, but I you've probably seen this one I've had for a long time. I've thrifted this one a long time ago. I don't even remember where or how much. But I always pair this one with a watch that I have that has the turquoise on the sides. But I need to get a new watch for it because the watch no longer works. And this was the other bracelet. I love this one. I haven't looked up the signature. She said she had looked it up, but I hadn't. And I'm usually prone to the ones that aren't signed anyway, but I couldn't resist this one with the coral. I love, love, love it. I used to have another one with just a big turquoise, but I think I told you guys once that my apartment was broken into when I was younger, and I because I had those forever since I was in high school. My mother bought them for me, and they stole my beautiful turquoise bracelet. Never replaced it. Okay, more from the counter uh, is this cute brooch. No signature, but I love the flamingo. Isn't that cute? I don't think any of the rhinestones are missing. It's even got rhinestones on the eyes. Whoops. And it's got the prettiest pink color, actually. It really does look like a flamingo. 
and I think this was about two or three dollars again out of the counter I've been missing the jars so I go to the counter I figure they put good stuff in their jars they're gonna have good stuff in the counter too and you know sometimes like today I spent $28 with my discount and I got all this bag over here including this ring I'm wearing and I spent $28. I probably would have spent more on a jewelry jar. Maybe got three things out of it, right? So, I mean, of course, I still love the jewelry jars. Don't get me wrong. I'm still going to do still gonna do them. But look at this gorgeous ring. And if you guys can help me out on the stone color, the name of this stone. It's like a green, but not like an emerald green. It's more like a fern green. And my sister has a ring that one of her clients gave her with this colored stone. And I forgot the name of it. She told me the name and I cannot remember. So, but I loved it. Look how it looks like a tree or a uh, pine cone. And this was marked 14, so I got it for about 10. And it is hallmarked on the inside with what looks like the initial SG or OG and then 925. I don't know if you can make it out there. See, there's... The there's the 925 but look it says 925 and then it says percent so i have a feeling it might be for some reason it reminds me like something that might be from a, another country like maybe colombia or latin america or something because it says 925 percent that's interesting i've never seen that and then there's the initials it's either og or jg you can't hardly make out the the first letter there can't even see it on here either but there it is but yeah I could not resist it and I love the, it almost looks like a broccoli doesn't it <laughs> the little peaks look like I had to look at it with a loop because I really thought they were little CZs or something in the silvery part but it's not it's just little peaks and then look how tall that stands <laughs> It is so, so cute. It reminded me of a ring because, you know, I told you before, I love to, I've been addicted to pawn shops for a long, long time. And I always like to pick up the rings that are kind of like from the 60s cocktail rings. And they always have, some of them had like this protruding design, you know. And that's what it reminded me of one that I had a while back. But of course, I resold it. Hi, Odile. How are you? Hi, uh, Carla. How are you? Thanks for being here. So, yeah, I could not resist that one. I just love the way it stands up. Looks like a Christmas tree. Looks like something from the 50s or so. And for 10 bucks was not a bad deal at all. And again, if you guys know the name of that green stone, it is. it does have inclusions and everything. I looked at it with a loop. So it's a natural stone of some sorts, but I can't remember. My sister, like I said, has a beautiful ring that one of her clients gave her, and it's a beautiful emerald cut. And it is exactly like this. And she told me the name of it, but I forgot. She, yeah, so. You do? Oh, my goodness. I'll bet it's beautiful in rubies. I had a ruby one like that, too. But the diamonds weren't that good of quality, and I resold it. And I bought it at a jewelry store. But they were kind of, they just, the color wasn't as nice as I wanted them to be. All right, so that was one ring I got there today for $10. And then this is the rest. And this one was seven though it's marked nine because remember i do get a discount after three and it's labradite i think it's super pretty because i have a few labradites and i think this is or is it opal what do you it looks more like an opal guys no i'm not sure what do you think i don't know why now it looks under this light it looks like an opal what do you guys think i think i was commenting about thelma she was young it does look opal now. Hey, that's even better. I like them both, but they got they kind of have the same kind of quality there, don't they? It does look like a pine cone. This other one, that's what I thought too. I thought it looked like a pine cone, a broccoli stalk, or a Christmas tree. Either way, I fell in love with it. And, you know, for 10 bucks, I wasn't going to leave it. Anyway, this one also was less than 10. It was 7, and it is hallmarked on the inside sterling. That's what it says there. I like it. I had a couple of Labradites. I thought it was Labradite, guys, but now I look at it, and it's opal. It's definitely not Labradite. I like the design on it. I, don't, I still can't tell if it's Native American. It doesn't really remind me of Native American for some reason. You know, like, 
usually the Navajo or something will have a little bit more of a leaf design. But this is a little different, but definitely nice. So I like that one a lot. Too. It's a little big. I have to wear it on my middle finger. There's a lot of th See, like, I wish this one would fit me on my ring finger. I really do. I may have to get it sized. I just think it would look so much prettier on the, on the ring finger. Okay, so I got that. And then I took these off because I was wearing them. <laughs> so I wanted to wear the other one. I took these off, and you saw this come out of the jar the other day. And then Car um, Elizabeth sent me this one. She always sends freebies with her buys as well. And she sent me a couple of things. And she sent me this one. And I thought this one was so cute. Because again, guys, I don't know about y'all, but you know how they say when you smell something, like a certain food, it takes you back, right? Or you s see something or you hear that song and it takes you exactly to the day you broke up with your favorite boyfriend or something, right? Well, that happens to me with jewelry. And this is what the, what happened with this ring. This took me back to Joskies of Texas. Anybody here from Texas will remember if you're as old as I am. There's a huge department store. It turned into Macy's later and so forth. But these were like the rage when I was like 13 years old, this type of crystal. And that's where it took me back to when I was having my mother buy me some of these. So thank you so much, Elizabeth. That was so sweet of you. I really, really, that's just what jewelry does to you. It evokes these memories and these emotions. And I think that's what feeds our addiction. I don't know. That's my opinion. But I love it. I wore it. And it's actually adjustable. So I had that one on today, but then I took it off because I wanted to wear this one. And it was kind of fighting with it. So, all right. Then they had a couple of things from Christian Dior. And this was a little bit less than six. I guess it was about four with my discount. I did put one back because they had it for 19, which was kind of weird. But the other one was like a big orb, like a huge ball that had rhinestones go going all around it. And it was probably the size of hmm, maybe a little bit smaller than a tennis ball. It was pretty big. So I didn't get it because it was $19.99. But I got this one. And this is just a little fashion piece, I guess. It's super heavy. It's a lock. It says Dior there. It has, um, does it have the tag? The other one had the little tag, the little hang tag. Okay, this one does not have the hang tag on it. It just kind of goes over your head, hmm. which is pretty, actually pretty reasonable, pretty logical rather, because this thing is super heavy, but it's heavy because it's a compact. It's actually for lipstick, and it has lipstick in it. Of course, I'm not going to use it. I'm probably going to use it a few times, use the pendant, and then probably list it. These are kind of crystal-like. It's really pretty. Very heavy. And um, yeah, it's got lipstick in there. It's got like lip glosses. See? It's like a broken heart in there. That's really cute. But I think it might be one of these, you know, promotional things that they did. And I, for that reason, I think it may become collectible if it isn't so right now. I don't know when it came out. I didn't even research it, but for the price, you know, sometimes you just wing it. Four dollars, I didn't, I didn't want to hesitate to buy it. All right, and then I got this, and this is the place. This is one of the Goodwills where I keep finding the Asian and um, exotic and Asian costume jewelry that looks like 22 karat gold, and I got this one. This one was cheap too, $6.99 for this one. So about, I guess it also came out to about $5. Yeah, maybe about $4.75, something like that. Hi, Mildly Crazy Me. How are, how are you? Susan, I'm glad you're here. And San Juana, how are you doing? Ka Kathleen Merton. All right. I'm glad you guys showed up. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up before you leave or as soon as you walk in the door. So I just inspected it with my loop anyway because I didn't want it to have any pieces missing. But um, I'm, I'm getting quite a collection of this stuff, mostly bangles. And I love the emerald colored dangle here with some pearls. I love the rich color of this. And as I told you once, my one of my subscribers has given me all of the proper names for these. They go Some of them go actually down your hair. Like you part your hair and one of them will come down across your head to your forehead. And of course, this is a necklace. And then some bangles that I've had as well. And she mentioned that the costume is extremely costly. 
because, well, of course, the real thing would be outrageously, right, costly. But um, some people do it in this form as well. I don't know if it's for ceremonies or whatnot. I don't even want to guess, but this is an amazing, beautifully, beautifully well-made piece. I even like the way they did the, the clasp there. It's very different. So I couldn't resist it for that price, and I may wear it once. <laughs> and then I think I may have to put together a lot because I'm really gaining a lot of those bangles. And I've listed, I think, one or two, but I really didn't show them in their, in their true glory. I need to take a much better picture. I don't know why. I think because I took it under artificial light, and it just doesn't. Oh, my gosh. Am I, did I lose you guys? Ah. Yeah, um, I am I back? <laughs> it looks like I have left the building here, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. Hello? I am back? <laughs> well, I'm going to sign off then if uh, you can't see me anymore, right? The picture's frozen. I don't know what happened. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's definitely frozen, so I'm going to sign off. We're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, I'm back. Yes, I'm back. Thank goodness. <gasps> that is so scary. I hate that. Well, anyway, I mean, look at that. Even in the middle there, guys. It's got a tiny little rhinestone there in the middle. Right there. That is so pretty. And look at the back. Open. Yeah, it may be. So I guess we should close it. So now while we're still seeing and hearing each other, I think that was all I wanted to show you. The, the ring, the bangle set that I got from the showcase. I love it. So I've been wearing it. I wore this one over here with my bracelet that popped out of the jar last time. This little lapis one. No, this one didn't pop out of a jar. This one I got from the counter when we were spying on how they make jewelry jars in that other video. And then I was thinking, oh, I'll never find another nice piece. But then this one popped out for $2.73 out of the counter. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you think about this. Is it real Cinnabar? Is it not? Um, wow, I'm super excited about this one. I really am. I think that I will find a buyer that will love it because it's it's such a, an oversized. It's not a standard bangle or bracelet size. Right? An armband on somebody for sure. But it's just so pretty. So thank you for joining me, guys. I hope to see you soon. I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful evening. And um, hi, Anita. Thank you for being here. I think it's real too, Anita. I really do. I got to go check out Anita's video, guys. If you guys aren't subscribed to her, be sure and do so. She took the challenge that I put out, the tag for show us what's in the back of your or inside of your bookshelves. I did one a couple of months ago. Dawn did hers. Anita did hers. So now whoever's listening to me that does videos and you have some shelving and you keep a bunch of your stuff on there, show it to us, all right, and tag someone else. And uh, I'll see you all later. Thank you again for everything. Bye.